everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel it's Suzanne and in today's video we are going to be talking about a word that we use very much like seriously too much we use it very often and that word sounds like very very so it's not very it's very so basically there are two sounds in english language which are va and wa in this word very you need to touch your lower lip with your upper teeth it's very let's do it very very yes so as we learned the pronunciation of this word very in today's video i'm going to give you expressions which contains very and we'll see some words that we can use to replace those 15 expressions so it's not that that you should just completely get rid of this word very but we have been using it literally a lot of times and usage of the same word a lot of times makes your speech boring makes your essays boring makes your answers in the test boring and that's not good you must have a good vocabulary you must have an advanced vocabulary and that is only possible if you don't repeat the same words again and again so it's okay to say very beautiful it's okay to say very tired very happy very angry but use them limitedly not all the time use some advanced words make your speech advanced and sound more so advanced video and the word number one which is very beautiful well the words that i'm going to give you to replace this word very beautiful will be really helpful for you to compliment people because complimenting people with different kind of a word makes your compliments way better sound way better and also it just makes the people ha happier it makes the person happier to whom you are complimenting the words are stunning, charming, gorgeous. Charming is a word which is used when a person is good looking with her looks and also like very jolliest. Well, I'm complimented with this word a lot of times because I'm insanely jolliest. Also stunning and gorgeous. For example, Zara is looking gorgeous in this dress. Well, that butterfly necklace makes her look stunning. So this is how you just make the compliments very amazing and just they sound so attractive attractive they just makes the person whom you are complimenting the happiest person in this world next word very big humongous tremendous giant huge so these are the words that you can use to replace very big yeah and we are not using this word very big nowadays we are using huge word a lot so you can also use the other words as well massive this is also a very good word very good word if we are talking about very big then you must talk about very small because because it's the antonym of very big so the words that you can replace very small with are tiny minuscule minute and subtle subtle is very very advanced then minuscule as well but i use this minute and tiny a lot well minute we gonna talk we gotta talk about this word minute the spelling of this word minute is just like that m-i-n-u-t-e so if you remember like obviously we well so m-i-n-u-t also sounds like minute and minute is just 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 minute the time 60 seconds a minute so this two pronunciations for the same word with same spelling and this two pronunciations makes it two different meanings so minute and minute so always just concentrate on the meaning of the sentence on which that word is present only then you're gonna pronounce it correct because you never know when that word is minute and when that word is minutes because pronunciation is different and the meaning as well is different this is the most significant point well while i'm very happy that each one of you are present here listening to me is this make my day for you so do hit the like button and subscribe down below for sure so very happy 
this is basic. I should stop saying very happy and I should start saying thrilled. Because thrilled means that you're very, very, very happy. And I'm literally very happy because each one of you are present here. So I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. And overjoyed, which is like you're insanely joyous, insanely happy. And then on cloud nine, so this is an EGM where you can use to replace very happy. EGM on cloud nine, like you're very happy very sad the next word salty is a word that you can replace to very sad salty is american slang it's american slang word well i love using this because it's nice it's nice it's nice other uh, hearts broken and devastated and disappointed heartbroken is something like you're very sad like you stopped dating you stopped meeting people you're staying alone it seems like you lost everything in your life heartbroken disappointed disappointed you are we know this nice we know the expression which we use to make compliments sound more better way better which is way better which is very good so I need to tell you a little story time here. So I was an anchor in my school, like I was a host in my school and I used to host each and every program held in the school. So my main task was to just hosting everything and then the main most significant task I played the vital role was anchoring. Like I should be holding the mic until the very very end of the program and I should be checking up everything and I should be calling people receiving people just calling them for performances and just sending them off complimenting their performances we're gonna talk about this it was back in 2017 I think so yeah four years ago so I was like using the same word very good very nice nice good like these words again and again for complimenting the performances like after people end up there with their performances as i have to say obviously that very nice very nice performance you can have your seat good round of applause so these four words like this was like very good very nice nice and good like these were the words which i was using and i was bored with this so if I think that I am bored by saying that obviously the audience will be bored because it's not the work of an anchor and an anchor must be attractive and sound more attractive like they should be attracting people with her work obviously. So I thought about this and I fixed it by using different kind of words which are going to be the replacing words for today's very good which are marvelous, fabulous, excellent wonderful amazing and words such like that you know the drill so that is how i changed it and now my next word very it. bad so the thing that you need to do is that english is a professional language and the most important thing that you must put in your mind is that you should put on your opinion and you should not offend anyone so it's important to use that kind of a words that just puts your opinion negative opinions and they and people won't get furious on you for that so, terrible dreadful awful each word just gives the correct level of the thing how the thing is so a sustained tip for everyone exaggeration of words the way you exaggerate a word just give the spice to your tone. Just try and exaggerate your words. Furious, furious. This means that you're very angry. Very angry, the next word. And furious is the word you can replace very angry with. And also you can say mad. Mad in his American slang word. Are you mad at me? So you would be like, what is this? Mad means, is this mad? No mad is angry so there are two types of mad Next this mad are and very angry. dirty and the same word followed by it is very ugly very dirty very ugly mean the same and you have some other words which mean the same are filthy hideous hideous is not hideous so if you see the starting spelling of hideous h-i-d you will be sure that is hideous because hide and seek 
hit it's uh, i d e and hideous h i d e but no this is hideous the he of our he is hideous you are clean very you are very dirty you are hideous very ugly filthy space is cleaned but is it okay to say very cleaned like literally you have made your place clean you need to just make your vocabulary clean as well by adding in ways to words say spotless and say spotless and immaculate instead of very clean to clean your vocabulary and obviously there would be very clean i mean there would be immaculate but by the way when something is very clean you say spotless immaculate but when someone is very clean and good looking we will obviously say very pretty but you can also say stunning as well with very pretty so i kind of love these words pretty and stunning like how pretty this sound the pronunciation pretty stunning i love it. very simple this is a word which means easy something is easy so simple is another word that you can use to compliment people's looks but the second way that it is used is something is easy so here very simple is very easy so instead of that you can say easy peasy so it's basically not only very simple it's very easy as well and you can replace both of these words with easy peasy you know the drill easy peasy lemon squeezy we know that the next one is a piece of cake even you know this there's a very this is a very very native idiom like everyone knows this a piece of cake very easy straightforward when something is straightforward which is like easy you can you don't have any hurdles you don't have any arts in between it's just easy way to crack something if you have something to crack pro tip for everyone another pro tip for everyone is that you can use really instead of very instead of saying very beautiful you can say really beautiful instead of saying very clean you can say really clean you can say really spotless so you can add this word really as well instead of very yeah Thank you so much for having me here. I'm really glad to have you all over here watching me up to the very end. Thank you so much. Lots lots of love. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, subscribe, like, share and comment. Bye-bye.